guys, it's Huff. I am back again, and this is the part seven. Or was it part six? One, two, three, four, five. Part six. Wait, one, two, three. Nope, part seven. Jeez, that'll be fun. Um, this, this is the next drawer in the collection. Uh, if you want to see the rest of them, um, there will be a playlist. In the first video, I show you like my makeup storage type area, so you can kind of get an idea of where we're going with this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of it. <laughs> so this drawer has quite a bit of stuff in it. This drawer, funnily enough, last year when I did this inventory type video thing, this drawer had only pencils and eyeliners in it, and now it's got like other stuff up the back of it. Um, because I've moved stuff out of my collection and this is one area of my makeup collection that has got much smaller unlike other areas of my makeup collection so this is all eye stuff um, yeah except for I then like they're all liquidy creamy type products in here basically so where to start we'll start with the back here um, I have a whole bunch of colour tattoos. Um, whoopsie, just making a huge noise. At, uh, it's quite late at night here, um, which is why the light is a bit funky. Um, yeah, so. Um, okay, so we have this one which is Fuchsia Fever, which is. It's gorgeous. You see, I haven't used it very much, but I have used it a few times. We have Fierce and Tangy, which is orange, basically. Um, you know when they like start to dry it and they do this. If you actually mix them up, then most of the time they just like they get they get their act together. But I really need to work on them anyway. Um, this one is Cool Crush. It's a very interesting one. Um, then we have two cool. Sorry, I'm forgetting where my camera is. I'm working from a weird angle. Um, this one I used quite a bit this year. I was trying to pan it. Obviously, I didn't quite get there, but I did use a lot of it. I had to mix it up a couple of times, clearly. Um, we have this one, which isn't opened. This is Audacious Asphalt, which is like a dark grey one. I'm not actually going to open it. I'm sorry. Um, and then we have this one, which is Tough as Taupe, which is a like very well um, thought of shade by a lot of make people, probably, because it's matte, and all the other ones I have are shimmery type ones. But I haven't used it very much because I have so many others that I'm trying to get through. I clearly just don't wear makeup enough. Um, I have two. Whoops! I have two from Calvin Klein. Um, this one. My lids are broken on these. Uh, this one is Cashmere Plum, which is real pretty. And the other one is called Snakeskin Silver. Um, and it's more broken than the other one. Um, I've used quite a bit of this one actually. I was sort of trying to uh, pan this one. I did actually hit pan on it. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, it's another one I should just use and move out, but I'm so bad at it. Uh, this is a newer one. This is Australis Metallics. I didn't realise this was a cream shadow. Uh, this is called Guns and Rose Petals. It's really, really gorgeous. I just didn't realise it was actually like a cream shadow when I bought it. Um, I have this one from City Colour. This is called uh, White Gold. Mm. 
change. That's what it looks like. It's quite a soft, goopy kind of cream eyeshadow. And I have this one here from Designer Brands. This came in a, a subscription box. This is bright ass blue. Um, it's called Neptune. It's very, very bright as you can see. Oh dear. So that's those ones. And then I have this, this pile over here. These are all cream eyeshadows. Uh, this one is Max Factor one. This is their Smoky Eye Effect. This is in Citrus Thunder. So it has this orangey, oops, orangey type one on one side. I just whacked it with my thumb. Good job. And then a greeny coloured one on the other side. This is another thing I really just need to use. Um, and this one is pink plume. So it has like a plummy colour on one end. Doesn't want to focus. Um, and a pink on the other end. Um, we have this jumbo eye pencil from LA Colors. This is in Vacation. It's like a dark purpley color. Um, this eye cream from Natio. It's actually really nice. Uh, it is called Cinnamon. Um, this is from Lacura. This is the Audi brand. Um, I've got two of these. This one is in... I don't know what colour this is. But it's purple. It's real pretty. Um, but I don't have a name for it. It looks like the bottom fell off of it. And the other one, yeah, obviously it did because this one's got navy written on the bottom of it. So clearly this one is in navy. That isn't, that doesn't go on as well as the purple one. It's a little skippy. Anyway. Um, another LA Colors Jumbo Pencil. This one is in seashells. This is basically NYX Jumbo Pencil in milk, but cheaper. Um, there's this one which is in iridescent light which I haven't even opened. I don't know how well you can see it but it's got iridescent little bitties in it. Making a really good highlighter probably. Uh, this one is from uh, I can't remember who this one is from. It's from some random uh, it's an iTeeny. You can tell by the martini container. So it's an iTeeny one. This is in Ambrosia. This came out of a lip monthly, I believe. And then I have two Torina Tarantino smudge pens. Um, I have purple velvet. These are always so hard to get open. I can never work out how to get them open. So purple velvet, that literally, that little end bit right there, that's all the product, right there. Mm -hmm. All this container is empty, there's nothing in there, just so you know. Um, and this one is in Jet. But yeah, I think it's got some gooby stuff in there to make it like creamy, but basically all of the product is just that bit that you see at the end there. Maybe I should just use those. I should be able to go through that pretty quickly, you reckon? <laughs> 
Okay, we've got this Maybelline Eye Express. This one is in touch of toffee. It's quite a nice neutrally. Make a good uh, brow highlight probably. Uh, Maybelline Cool Effects. I don't even think they make this anymore. This one's in pretty cool. This is a light purple, but it's not dried out around the um, wood, so I think it should be fine. Um, and this one is in On the Rocks. So this one is more of a browny kind of colour. Again, these are ones I really just I need to use them. Um, this one hasn't been opened. This is from Santee. This is their matte eyeshadow in white, I guess. It doesn't have a name on it. Again, kind of like um, this one at least rolls up, unlike the NYX one. Basically, it's the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Uh, this is the L'Oreal High Intensity Pigment Color Rich Cream Crayon. Oops. What color it is? It is in. Where's the name for it? It does have a name. Oh, there we are. Meticulous. And this one is one that I got in a subscription box. This is Models Prefer Nude Cream Eyeshadow. And nice bronzy kind of colour. I have three of these L'Oreal High Intensity Coal Eyeliner things, but they're um, like a powder. So I have this one which is teal, this one which is gold and brown. But if you've never seen these, because I don't make them anymore, they're like a powder eyeliner with this hard slightly flexible thing and you just like dip in and you get a powdery eyeliner so it's just like a cold pencil but it's just in a powdered form it's kind of interesting quite interesting so there's those three Now we get on to the liquidy eyeliner type ones. We have this one from LA Colors in purple. It's a fairly light purple. Another one that I just need to use. Um, this next one, which is in electric blue. This one might be going soon. I have to see whether it works. I have to try it and see if it works because otherwise it was looking a little gloogie. Um, I have another LA eyeliner. This one is in teal. It is really raining heavily outside if you can hear that. Th these will probably be gone by the end of the year. I'll decide that they're not any good anymore. Um, I have another eye crayon. This one is from OXX. This is just a black chubby stick. That's all that is. Um, it does what it needs to do. Um, I also have this NYX one, which I haven't even opened. It's one of their glam shadow sticks. This one is in... Um, it has no name. It only has a number on it. Oh, sorry. Wicked Onyx. There you go. So it's like a grey, silvery grey colour. Um, I have the LA Graphics Eyeliner in black to go with the other two. This is another one that will probably go this year. I'm going to try and work on those. I have this one which isn't opened. This is an Ulta 3 felt tip eyeliner. I bought it because I was I thought I was running out of eyeliners that would work. This is just in black. Um, I haven't opened it because I realised I had other ones I needed to work through. Uh, this is the Anoxa Liquid Eyeliner. This one is in, like, purple. Uh, I don't know if it's actually got a proper name, because I can't find it on it. But, it's purple. Um, I have a Scandalize 
um, thick thin eyeliner in Black Noir. It's like super black. I really need to use that one because I've opened it. I also have the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner Pencil. I haven't actually used this one. I haven't actually opened it. I have this Bourjois um, Liner Clobbing in Bronze Dance Floor. It's another one that will probably go this year. It's like a green dark green kind of colour. It's really interesting. really just need to use it. And this one is from BYS. It is the Pearlized Eyeliner. Um, I don't think it's actually got a proper name, but it's like grey, like gunmetal. It's a gunmetal colour. Again, quite interesting. Another one I really just need to use. I have this black uh, liquid eyeliner from um, gel eyeliner, sorry, from Artist Selection Cosmetics. This is the brand that was put together with the crown stuff in my kit. So this is the one that I was using in my kit. That's why it's got a big chunk taken out of it. It's actually not bad. I've, I've used worse. Uh, this is the mellow one. The fact that it's still in its box means I've never actually opened it. This is in black. It's a gel eyeliner. I'm not going to open it. I want it to dry out. Um, I have this one from Fashion Secret, um, which is Fashionista. Uh, it doesn't have a n name on it, but it's a. It's like a gel, but it's like in dark green with sparkles. It's got a little brush in the top of it that you can use. And I also have it in this blue colour. Again, it doesn't have a name. It's just this dark blue. There's a lot of product in there. Um, I have this Face of Australia gel in hmm, uh, pure purple. It's another one with a lid in uh, a brush in the lid. And then I have it also in espresso, so brown. I've obviously used that quite a bit. Another one that just needs to be used up. I have this e.l.f. glitter liner. This one is in Stardust. It's just a holographic glitter. It's not very good. It's like not a, I, it's one that I've, I've either got to use it or get rid of it. Um, and there's this one which is Peacock from LA Colors. Um, I kept this one because it still had, like, had a purple one, which had separated so completely that you couldn't actually use it. But this one is still giving glitter payoff. Another one I need to just use. Um, and the NYX uh, Candy Glitter in um, Lavender. Which doesn't have a huge payoff. you kind of got to build it up, but it's still cute. Another one I really just I need to find a use for it. And lastly, these are all the pencil type ones. Oh, except for this one. It's a Jordana Quick Liner. This was in my kit. Um, so it's just been put into my stuff recently. I think all the rest of these ones are actually pencils. So I have a brownie black. So I'm judging by the end of it. Brown. LA Colors Eyeliner Brow Pencil. I have this one from Crown, which is in milk chocolate. So it's brown. I have this one from Crown, which is their black one, which was in my kit. The two Crown ones were in my kit. I have a NYX Wonder Pencil in Medium, which I have not used at all. It's not even out of the wrapper. 
uh, Revlon Grow Luscious. This one is in espresso, and I also have it in onyx. I have a Rimmel double ended in black and white. The blacks obviously had quite a bit of use in comparison to the white. Um, I have this one which I got from Mimi Box from Beauty People. This is in um, diamond burgundy and I also have it in natural uh, diamond natural berry which is actually pink. Um, they're actually gels so they stay on really well. Uh, I have this one from Avon which is a glimmer stick in cosmic brown. I have a, a Maybelline Master Smoky Eye Studio in Smoldering Violet. I have a Rimmel Exaggerate in Steel. I have this one from me in, um, in Emerald City, which is a green. I have this random ass little black one that came in some weird kit thing. It's just a little black eyeliner. You need to use that one up. I have a NYX Auto Pencil in white. It's just a... It's a bit manky. <laughs> I need to clean off the end of it. I obviously used it on my waterline and it got other colour on it. This one from Bloom, which is in dark brown. I have this one from Color Theory in charcoal, which is like a really good grey colour. This is another one I've got in a Mimi box. This is Color Bucket. This is in neon orange. I have actually used it quite a bit. Uh, this one is from Anika. This is in black caviar, just a basic black. This one's from BYS. This is just all white, plain ordinary white. Um, from LOL I have their white one and their gold one and their black one. Uh, I have the big eye liner, double ended liner from Maybelline in black and white. I have this one from Tease which is in black deluxe. I was using this in a project because I love the packaging but it is the softest creamiest black and it doesn't set and it's yeah it's not good i have this one from inoxa which is just a black coal pencil um I have this one from emmet makeup in spear s-p-i-r which is basically like um a nude good for the waterline I have this one from Mask, which is just in pitch black. So another black one. Plenty of black pencil eyeliners. Um, I have this one from Models Prefer, which is in teal, maybe. Just, just a nice teal, sparkly teal. And lastly, I have this one from Longcom, which is just their black eye pencil. Just standard black eye pencil. So that is everything that is in that drawer. Um, if you want to see the rest of my collection, there will be a playlist. Um, click down there and subscribe so you can see the rest of it. Because there's still another... Probably another eight <laughs> to go. That's a little sad. Um, okay, so that is the end of that collection. So um, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like makeup collection type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!